situated at the confluence of the Volga and Kotorsl rivers, around 300 km northeast of Moscow, the historic city of Yaroslavl developed into a major commercial center from the 11th century. There are two major passenger railway stations in Yaroslavl. They can be easily mixed up. The one you're probably looking for is called Yaroslavl Glavny. The city is connected to Moscow by a fast electric train service with comfortable seats. Just three hours from the capital of Russia and you are in the very center of Yaroslavl. Yaroslavl is one of the Golden Ring cities a group of historic cities northeast of Moscow that have played an important role in Russian history. The historic part of the city is a world heritage site. While walking around the city center, you will definitely find this Kremlin-like construction. The truth is, it's not the Yaroslavl Kremlin, it is the Cathedral of the Spassky, St. Savior Monastery. The cathedral is the oldest building in the city, typical for a Russian monastery of the Middle Ages. The Spasopreobrazhensky Monastery in Yaroslavl was not built to be no more than a place of worship, but also to be a citadel and Kremlin case in times of war. Just near this monastery you can find a little structure, the Lady of Kazan Chapel. If you have a 1000 rubles banknote, you can find it there as well along with the monument to Yaroslav the Vice, the founder of the city. One of the central squares of Yaroslavl is called Savetske. Ironically, the most beautiful and notable Orthodox church in the town is located just here. This is the Church of Elijah the Prophet, which is a very prominent example of the way in which the city developed in the 17th century. The Church of the Epiphany is an Orthodox church in Yaroslavl. Built in the 17th century as well, it is known for beautiful fresco paintings and tile decoration on facades. Another famous cathedral in Yaroslavl, Uspensky, was built in the 13th century and destroyed in the Soviet era. The city park was created on its place. The cathedral was rebuilt in 2010. Its construction was completed to the 1000th anniversary of Yaroslavl. 1000th anniversary of Yaroslavl was celebrated in Russia in 2003. A huge part of the historic center was renovated with some new sightseeing constructed. Strelka Park is one of them. It's a huge promenade area at the bank of the Volga River with beautiful views. The Volga Embankment is a good example of urban planning in the classical style. Built in the 1840s, this promenade walk was remained a favorite place for residents to take a stroll and relax ever since. To stay up to date with my latest videos and interesting facts from all over the world, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video.